There's a couple of things happening that I'm interested in. Obviously, the the transaction and the fact that it, it finally closed um, on Saturday, right? Yes. Um, so why don't we start with that? Uh, you know, finally, what happened with the Department of Justice? You know, how was that worked out? I mean, they accepted the terms that there was also a, a case, right? A complaint or something. How did it all pan out? But listen, I mean, the, 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 the way this happened is sometime in the beginning of the summer, the Department of Justice concluded, whether they're right or wrong, you know, it is their decision, uh, that they need to conserve uh, competition in the wireline business fiber segment. Okay? Mm -hmm. And they wanted to, to have, uh, you know, a stronger, another stronger player in the market. They thought that us combining with at and could hinder uh, c c competition. Uh, it's not my opinion, but you know it doesn't right. really matter. It's what um, said. Right. The, exactly. So we we went through a process with them, and in the in those processes, typically you divest uh, the smaller piece of the pie, right? The mm -hmm. obviously we're, the the, the wireline fiber B two B is much smaller in Liberty business than AT&T business. Uh, so that's one. Two, uh, they wanted also some assets to be able to be transferred to them, right? So that's why the Columbus network that we had just purchased from Ken Wireless back in 2019, we as well transferred it. So that transaction went through a process. They have to approve the buyer. They approved the WorldNet and WorldNet you know, purchased the, the, the asset uh, the portfolio of employee, the assets in the ground, meaning the Columbus network, access to our network, and employees as well uh, right, that so go with, 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 two, with, uh, with, things, with the company. Two things that haven't been said, I think. Please correct me if I'm wrong. The number of customers that will be transferred over and how much the transaction Yeah, no, listen, it, 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 it was agreed with the, with, uh, the three parties meaning WorldNet and uh, Department of Justice, this, this information should not be published. Oh. Uh, so that, that's why you haven't seen it in any document of DOJ. And you probably read the DOJ document, it's very much detailed, right. you know, 50 pages. Of, so they opted not to do it and, you know, I, I just, I just can, 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 cannot. Uh, so not know, even with the customer base either? No, no, okay. not, not yet, correct. No. Okay, it, might get, it, it might get, uh, you know, um, exposed or you know divulge in the next couple of months as WorldNet competes its transaction with us with the we filed the FCC right uh, to do the, the transfer of licenses and everything else and as you can imagine the Department of Justice is just going to be a rubber stamping type of uh, that was process. my next question this has to go through the DOJ and the FCC right yes but so the DOJ how long, how long is that process expected to take my, my yeah. understanding it will take around two months Okay. Uh, and give it a bit more time, given the holidays, maybe. Okay. Uh, but th th this is going to go on a fast track. There's no doubt. And in the meantime, it's business as usual for, for that segment of the customer? Yeah, it, it is business as usual. The, 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 the way this is going to work, as you have seen in the, in the order from the, from the Department of Justice, there's what's called an asset preservation order. So we are basically ordered and asked and required to maintain this asset in its condition and grow it onto a world net competitive transaction. Okay, and will Liberty still have a business division? Yes, we will have, we, we still, we kept, we kept a percentage of the Liberty business, right? Okay. A smaller piece, right? And then we're gonna merge it now with the AT&T business over the next six months to a year and, and continue with the Liberty business uh, brand, absolutely. So, um, does that mean that business customers should expect perhaps a wireless um, option as well? Yes, of course. I mean, the, part of our strategy is no secret. You know, some of the, you know, the thesis behind this, trans this transaction is that we're going to be able to converge a lot of our products over time. It's going to take some time, you know, to get systems going and, you know, start merging accounts, merging customer. But yes, ultimately, that is our goal. That is, that is our goal. And let me ask you, is that uh, you, you're merging your business uh, division with 
AT&T's business division. Now, AT&T has about a million customers that it's, it's transferring over to you. Right. Does that right. million include the business yes. segment? Yes, it does. Yes, okay. it does. And yes, do you know how many business customers are coming over? No, I, we're, we're, we're going to find out the information soon. Okay. Okay. Yes. Because yeah, that's obviously, yeah. it's obviously important for the community that, you know, reads and listens to um, this is my business. So... You know. Yeah, no, no, I, I understand, uh, you know, remember, we were competitor until literally 24 hours ago. Right. So m a lot of this information were not shared with us. So uh, it wasn't, so even even though this was announced no. a year ago and it's been going on. No, no, no. no. okay. No, I, 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 absolutely. That, that is because we were competitor in the market and because the Department of Justice process was in, we were extremely careful. Uh, not to share information that uh, is considered to be customer sensitive or competitive sensitive information. So, um, you know, we'll be, we'll be learning more over the next couple of weeks and we'll share them, uh, you know, as, as the information comes. But we, we, have, we have, we need some time to digest, you know, the information. So Fair enough. Now, let's talk about uh, regular, you know, the regular customer base. Um, yes. You can see clients who have, you know, their phone in their hand and are wondering now what's going to happen. I know that a lot has been said about what they will have and what they won't have. What they will have is is everything they have today. Okay. Literally everything they have. Everything. But I've read that there are certain services, certain streaming services that will no longer be available. Um, mm, music not the more services. No, Pandora. It's Pandora and HBO. Okay. And both are available. They are available. Yeah, yeah they are available. Okay, okay because I read, um, I think at and said it, that some of the streaming services were... No, at and said uh, there was the, the at and Thanks program, which is a loyalty right. program. Uh, there was another type of insurance program where literally 0.1% of the subscriber had it. Uh, but th those are the only two programs that, that were suspended. But my understanding is all the streaming services remain the same. Okay, and uh, so AT&T also had, I think, I think AT&T also had a roadside assistance program. What about that? Uh, I, I would have to get back to you on this one. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. It's all of these uh, little add-ons that, you know. Yeah, that, yeah I mean, the, 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 I, I don't remember the road, roadside assistance. I, I believe it's still valid, but I'll double check. Okay. I'll, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll call and we'll get you a quick answer. And then the other major question that's been, you know, asked Many times over. What's going to happen to at and customers who travel to the U.S.? They continue to use their phone as is. Nothing changes. And the reason nothing changes is because we have entered into a very, very long-term agreement with at and where our customers will go use their network in the U.S. and vice versa, right? Okay. Uh, so it, it is completely seamless. Completely seamless. Will there be roaming this is, no, the, it, it, it won't be considered roaming. Okay. You know, and we, ha we have to be careful because when we use the word roaming, is you left the network, right? right. Uh, roaming when you go to Spain, roaming when you go to Colombia, roaming when you go to Panama, you know? okay. roaming when you go to Mexico. But the U.S., it's not, it's not roaming. It's just part of the, of the territory. Uh, so you're not going to get the roaming icon on your, on, on your thing. You know? Okay. So, and all the rate plans, all the ten, the famous ten dollars international pass when you travel to Europe, or most that doesn't change. Okay. Nothing changes from that but perspective. That, nothing changes. And that's something that um, Liberty has been known for, um, historically speaking. When you've made a, an acquisition, you tend to keep plans in place, yes. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At no, least no, no. for a period of time. Now. You know, do you have any kind of a roadmap where you can say, okay, maybe six down, six months down the road, we'll be introducing new plans? Or, I mean, do you have anything like that? Yeah, we are. No, no. I mean, no, no, no secret, Michelle, that we, we are going to introduce new products, new ideas, new plans. Yes. Uh, you know, we're going to convert some of the plans. We will do that. Uh, but, you know, our focus now in the next two months is to make sure that all the employees are integrated, uh, all the systems are integrated, no interruption to our customers, right? Uh, everything's the same. You know, the, once that is working and we gain, you know, we continue to gain the trust of the, of the consumer, 
we will slowly start introducing new ideas. And that, that's definitely going to be the case. But priority number one for me is somebody wakes up in a couple of days and I was like, okay, nothing changed. That, 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 that's for me is success. Okay. Have you chosen the name of the subsidiary? I read there were two options, Liberty Mobile and another one, Liberty Wireless. I, 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 think, I think Liberty Mobile seems to be winning. Okay. So do you expect, you know, because it, the visible, the visual part of it, do you expect stores to be transitioned, you know, points of sale it, to be transitioned into Liberty Mobile starting it, one? It will, it will over time, but it's going to take a year. Is it? You know, okay. Again, we, we are, you know, we have no intention of shaking the tree just to shake it. Okay. You know, we're going to be very careful in, in our process. at and is a great brand. Uh, so, you know, we don't want, we, you know, our intention is not to tomorrow change the, the brand at all, at all. This is going to be it, a, does, it does happen. Other companies do opt to, you know, overnight kind of take one down and put no, it. No, no, this is, this is not our strategy. This is not our strategy. Yeah. Okay. Now, some different news came out of the FCC today. Yes, you, indeed. You got funding to blanket the island with broadband. Can yes. Can you talk to me about that? I know that. Liberty yeah, listen, I, I mean. Getting money, um, GLaDOS yeah. getting money. Clara's getting money. It looks like we we we, we split a bit the pie. Right. Um, I, you know, I first I, I'm really excited. Uh, you know, I, I think this is another great great piece of news, and this just goes against and speak well about our commitment to the island and our, our seriousness and our desire to compete. Right. And as you well know, this is the first time in the history of the the FCC, you know, funding the Puerto Rico that there is actually competition for those funds. Right. Um, so we're going to analyze it, uh, you know, let the team is doing their homework as we speak. I'll probably get a bit more information this evening and I'm sure we can talk about it, you know, in, you know, in the but, next couple you of know, days. You did get the bigger piece of the pie and yes. with that, the bigger piece of the responsibility because you have more areas to cover. Yes, we did. Yes. With that funding. Um, generally speaking though. Um, is this the last mile situation? Is this, you know, getting broadband to the people, not necessarily the easy, you know, people to get to? Correct. Is Correct. This it? Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the spirit of, the, of, the, of that fund, of the Uniendo fund, is for me, it, the, the spirit was basically three things. Broadband to every single home, no matter how far or how close that home is that check we're going to do that spirit number two is build more resilience into the network okay bury more and so on upgrade more that's gonna that's gonna happen three two sorry the third point is give the customer also the option to have backup right mm -hmm. so I, I got fixed i got mobile i got mobile i got fixed so you know you something happened Power goes out, another mini storm, hopefully not another Maria. You know, the, the customer is not going to go dark. Right. Right. Uh, so that, 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 that's, the, the, for me, the third objective of the fund. So reach every home, get more resilience, and offer the customer ability to have a backup. Might not be equal backup, but at least he's not, he or she is not left completely you know, in community. And I think that so, was one of the objectives that the chairman had. I did buy it. Yes very very um adamant about not having a hurricane a post hurricane maria situation yes where C correct. Correct. puerto rico went dark um and so that's correct. something that i think the money is supposed to be used for as well so that broadband connectivity is never lost right Oops. yeah I, c c c correct and the fact that now we have a mobile a mobile carrier with us okay that is going to make the task even more achievable and more important so, okay i want to talk yeah. about the usvi um yes the usvi is covered i think by these two things that we've spoken about right um, yes okay. let's talk about the transaction with at&t first because um from what i gather they're not very happy over at the usvi that at&t is uh, leaving yeah, I mean, remember, the, the, it is an important brand in the USVI, right? It is the best network. There's no doubt about it, right? Liberty is not known there, you know, 
versus like here. So we have to build a bit. We have to build a bit of uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, brand building in the USVI. So we are going to go there. We are going to. I'm talking to a lot of the media. Uh, we'll be visiting them. We have different calls, different government officials as well. So we're going to do whatever it takes to make sure that everybody understands that first, nothing will get interrupted. And two, we are going to continue on the path that at and had. So we are not going to do less. For example, they are burying the fiber so they can get more resilience to the network. 5G is coming. So we're going to make sure that nothing gets interrupted. The only thing they're going to change literally is maybe the logo on your bill in a, you know, in six months or a year. Uh, so we have, we have a lot to do there in terms of communicating with the customer. Are we going to do it? We, 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 we're going to start soon. Uh, you know, I, I personally will, will head to the island in the next couple of weeks also to meet the employees, okay. uh, you know, and, and get, get myself acquainted with them uh, and, and, and give them uh, not only the support, but, uh, you know, the commitment that we are going to make this really good. Looking at a bit of our respective history, you know, we have a lot of things in common, a lot of tourism, you know, us going there, them coming here, uh, a lot of humanitarian support, one to the other. So th we, there, is, there are bonds between us. Okay. And, uh, you know, we'll find a way to put our differences, uh, you know, at, aside and, and, and make sure that we, we build something great. And I'm very confident. We'll, we'll now, let me it. ask you, with the Uniendo a Puerto Rico fund, that's, a, that's strictly for Puerto Rico, but the FCC also has a separate fund for the USVI. Yeah, they have not, they have not awarded it they yet. They haven't awarded it. That, that was my question. Will yeah, you be participating? Will there be I mean, we, 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 cannot, we cannot participate... Yeah. Uh, as, as, as a main, because we, 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 we didn't have a license in the USPI prior to the announcement of, of, of Uniendo. So, so yeah. that Correct. said, where's the money coming from to invest in the USPI? For, uh, For whatever, you, mean, you know, projects at and had going, you know, now and in the I know, it, it's investment, it's investment that we're going to make. That you're going to make, okay. It's, 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 it's our own investment, correct. I mean, remember, they do are also getting funds from the mobile side of Uniendo. Uh -huh. Remember, Uniendo had a fixed and a mobile. Right. Yeah. And the, the, the mobile part was divided based on your market penetration. So they got some, Vaya got some as well. And obviously here in Puerto Rico, Sprint, T-Mobile, Claro, you know, everybody got some, I think, based on market penetration. Okay. It was, so it's not a competitive process. So did at and get funding to, because at and footprint did extend to the USVI. They get funding for 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 the USVI. Yes, yes, they did. Okay, okay. Uh, for the mobile, yes, they did. They yes, did. I don't remember how much. No, I I, I have I, to look I, it up. I did. Yeah, it, I have yes. to look it up as well. Some people aren't very happy with Liberty in general. So, but that's something that happens with most companies, right? I mean, there's always a segment of the population that um, would like for service to be better. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I mean, l l listen, I mean, it, it's, oh, sorry, I interrupted you. Uh -huh. oh, it's okay. Go ahead. Ah, okay. No, what I was saying, Michelle, look, I mean, yeah, they, there's no doubt that our service is becoming more and more critical to everything we do now at home between studying and working. Uh, so uh, customers are more demanding, which is okay. Uh, no, no, no complaint about that. Uh, but, you know, what we do is complicated. What we do is very complicated and it requires a lot of investment. It requires a lot of time. So we, we are not shying away from all that. We are doing it. And you will see our results coming up in the next couple of days. I will release our, our financials in Thursday. Okay. Uh, and we'll have a chance to speak again. And you, you, you will see, you know, that those results will speak for themselves. Uh, you know, of how, how, how we're doing. Uh, but I'm very conscious that, you know, we, we definitely are improving but we still have some to go right and people judge us based on that even though maybe 98 percent of the time or 99 percent it's okay that five minutes or one hour that they lost a zoom call or a team's call is the last thing they remember everything else has been forgotten well, i think uh, i think so I no think but I, I understand and we're very partly human nature we're i think but despite all that, um, your company during the pandemic, you know, you actually grew. There was a higher demand for services and for, you know, uh, network 
for broadband and all of that, right? So you, yes. you kept it going, um, especially during the crisis, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, in, in, indeed. And I, I think, like I said, in the next couple of days, you will see the, 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 the result and it will be a good testimony of, of the efforts that we put together uh, you know, in, in Puerto Rico. So very, very proud of the team. Good. Well, listen, I appreciate your time. Um, as always, you know, News is My Business is um, keeping an eye on it. So um, thank you. We'll be talking soon.